Hey, fuck, have I got a flat? Oh, for fuck's sake, you're joking. Corsa G Plus tyres. Alright, I've got got one with me here. The old trusty boy. Been riding these for a long time now. So you can see these these tyres got the nice little sidewall, very dirty unfortunately, uh, and got you know very sort of it's called the open tubeless design. Pretty interesting design. And anyway, right, my reviews on this tyre. So I've been running these since pretty much the end, the beginning of the year. Uh, I've had a lot of them. Uh, I think I've maybe gone through like two pairs maybe, like as in front and back. I've gone through two, maybe. Um, and so I rode them in Adelaide. Very good. No punctures. Maybe one puncture, I think, in my whole time in Adelaide. So good, good. Went home to the UK. Maybe one puncture. Changed the tyre because it was just being, getting a little bit rough. Very good. Uh, so very content with the tyres. Uh, my friend had some, so I bought them off him. And then I came to Thailand, and it's been punctured galore. Like, just, just hundreds. Like, this is only half of them. <laughs> I've got more punctures. Like, I mean, I can wear them as a hat like this, or I don't know how I want them to wear them. But I actually have more punctures than I think anyone else in the world. Like, I got like 13 in about seven weeks or something. Um, okay, some of these were rim tape issues, but I don't really like the tires here, like the tire here, um, because you'll be able to see it. it's very, very thin. Uh, this part here, like, it just seems this the whole the whole thing is very thin, and like. The actual tire itself, this part here, the sidewall, very good, very good sidewall, no issues with that, but just this part here, if there's glass, it just gets through so easily, and you can see, like, I've got a couple cuts here, like, there's a lot of cuts on my tires, and I'm not really happy with them. So anyway, we'll go through on bicycle rolling resistance, and if you haven't been here, it's an absolute, the guy's a legend. Anyway, so, Vittoria Corsa, 12.2 watts, uh, I believe it's at 40 k's an hour for one tire, and then the other one, which most people run, are uh, the Continental Grand Prix 4000s, and those are 12.2 watts and weigh 215 grams. So the difference between them, 40 grams heavier is the Vittoria Corsas, and maybe like 0.3 watts slower, but they also are, seems to be slower at lower pressures as well compared to the GP 4000s. So in reality, they're not great. Like they're nice, they look solid, I do enjoy the looks, um, I really do enjoy the looks, but I'm just, it's, it's hard for me to buy them unless they're that much cheap. I mean, I got them, managed to get a lot of them quite cheap uh, from my friend, so I was like, oh, fair enough, I will buy them. But the gp 4000s are definitely, I mean, something better. Or even the Michelin Pro, um, what are they called? The Power Competitions. They only have 10.9 watts of rolling resistance. Um, I also have a pair of Turbo Coddens, but I haven't ridden them yet because I'm saving those for the hill climb season because they are outrageously expensive tires, but luckily I managed to get them cheap as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know, what are your thoughts on the Vittoria Corsas? Like, they are pretty popular tires. Um, I've seen a lot of people change them. I think it's just because of the gum sidewall. This sidewall here, kids, it looks fucking stunning. It really does. Um, but I feel for Thailand, well, you know, Thailand, Chiang Mai, it is not not ideal just because there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff on the road, a lot of debris on the road. Uh, and that means that, like, glass just seems to get in there quite a lot. And the, the man at the bike shop, he was saying, like, a lot of people have these tires then get loads of punctures and then change to gp 4000s because they say they have a bit more uh wear and tear especially on the glass but i feel like if you're living with somewhere where there's not too much stuff on the road uh then definitely buy them but for me like i literally never get punctures like 90 percent of the tires i like i probably get maybe two punctures a year and then it's just literally normal like get a puncture change my tires don't get another puncture again so as soon as the tires are like worn and i normally get like a quite a lot of thousand k's out of them but these ones, again, like, maybe after 4,000 to... All right, cows, I run out of storage. Anyway, right, so last last point very quickly. Grip on these tires, excellent. Never sit now, never had any problems. So ran out of storage yet again. Anyway, the grip on these tires is absolutely excellent. Love them. Uh, never sit now, have great confidence in them. So on that respect, top-notch, can you complain? So they are fast. They are a little heavy. They have good grip, but puncture protection is lacking if you ride somewhere quite in bad conditions, like, for instance, Chiang Mai. Uh, I wouldn't recommend them then. Apart from that, top qual. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy it. Let me know what is your favorite tires below and should I go tubeless. See ya.